Hey my loves, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to perfect a wing eyeliner. This is the way how I do it. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of other people who do it differently. So I hope my tips helped some of you. Um, and yeah, and also I just kind of want to speak about something. Um, so Mandy Cosmetics emailed me and they told me to try their eyelashes out. And these are currently what I'm wearing them today. Um, can we speak about this packaging though? Oh my god, it is so beautiful. It's like, it feels like, I don't even know. It's just, it's just amazing. And obviously, you know, I'm wearing the lashes right now, so there's nothing in here. Um, I did speak to her to provide you guys with a discount code so you guys can get them from her. So I will leave it right here. And I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to fall in love. And as well, what I like about them is that you can wear them multiple times. So obviously you have to take care of them. But you can wear them multiple times and they just stay on all night. And they are so comfortable. And obviously they look fabulous. So yeah, check her out. I will leave all, the, all of her information down in the description box below so you guys can check her out. Um, but yeah guys, so... Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because you want to be part of the family. And let's get to it. Alright guys, so I look kind of crazy. I have my thing on because I'm just really cold and I want to be comfortable. But anyways, um, so my first tip would be to find your favorite eyeliner. So there's kind of different, different eyeliners. So there's um, gel eyeliner that obviously you use with a brush. There are brush brush ones. Um, let me give you a swoop. So there are brush ones. And um, I have this one by e.l.f. which is my all-time favorite. And then there's also one that's going like famous around which is a NYC one. Um, I got the wrong one which is uh, Paralyzed Black so I do not use this one because it's like really shiny and I don't like it. Um, but Anyway, so then there's also like one with like a felt tip. I have this one and then I also have one from L'Oreal. Um, so these ones are, I personally, I do not like these ones with the felt tip. I bought them because I wanted to try out different ones to see which one it's easier for me. So, and I also did try the gel one, which uh, this one is by Morphe. And I also got the, um, the brush for it, which is a Morph uh, M160 brush. And personally, I thought this one, these two were going to be really easy for me to just like perfect the wing. But for whatever reason, I do not know why I do not like it. Um, so I do not use this one. I just use it for the uh, my waterline. Um, the felt tip. Um, I feel like it's too hard and it just doesn't glide easily. So that's why I don't have these ones. Um, that's why I do not like these ones. Sorry. Um, but yeah, like it's personal preference. So, um, just buy cheap ones. I mean, my suggestion to you is just buy cheap ones. Um, these ones, like, I think this one cost me like $2 and then this one, I think it was like $2 also. Probably this one was more, but um they're kind of the same price range um and i tried both of them i did not like them they are beautiful because they do dry matte and that's my favorite so um so yeah i mean it's just personal preference i suggest i suggest to you um to buy you know a gel one one with a felt tip and then also one with like a brush and um try it out and you know practice on yourself and maybe it'll, it'll help you um so i'm basically gonna show you how i do my eyeliner and um, i love the brush ones the brush ones i feel like are so much easier for me to just glide on and to just make that perfect wing eyeliner that i you know everybody wants so i prefer this one um with a brush I mean not specifically this one this one is by elf it's uh, in jet black it costs me like three dollars I think um, 
and I love it because it, it just dries matte it's just so easy for me and yeah so another tip is get a close mirror so I like using this one by elf and as you can tell um, I love, love using this one because it's it really gets up close and personal so um, I really love this one so find yourself a good mirror and try out you know different eyeliners and see which one you like best but as I said this one is mine so I'm gonna show you guys so let's get up and personal all right so we're up and close and personal um so what I'm gonna show you guys is so what I like to do is I grab the brush so I grab the thing and I like to just you know kind of take a little bit of product off it so I just kind of you know swoop it around and and so what I like to do is first start close to the um, lashes and then my last would be my wing liner so I like to go up and personal and this is where you want to have the most product so I like to simply go like this so it really depends how thick you want it um okay so what I did there is all the product that I had on my brush it went on my uh, close to my lashes so now what I'm gonna do is with the little product that I have I'm gonna create the wing so you want to create the wing with little because if you do it with all the product and you start out with your wing it's gonna become really harsh and you, that's how you just screw it up and also another tip is start from here and go up and then once you do that you go from here and you connect it so you see how I did that there and over here I don't know if you guys can see it but over here it's connected and it's smooth it's not harsh so that's what I like to do and then I go back into the product and just around the product what's well, what I swooped what I took out, um, I just want to go back and grab that same product. Not a lot though, just a little bit. And and I like to just fill fill that gap in. So I'm just gonna color it in, like picture like you're coloring a Barbie book or something. I don't know. And just. It does not have to be harsh and you kind of like have to you know do it a little bit and so here what I like to do is since I got my wing you know I just kind of want to intensif intensify it a little bit and voila and so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye Another tip is if you want to like add more product, don't go directly in. Just like do not do this and then get the product. Just the product that's around that you took off is a product that you want in order to fix it. Because if you go in inside of the bottle, then you're just, it's not going to work out for you. And then that's how you're going to screw it up. So that's kind of what you want to do. Um, so you see here like I already screwed it up there so 
So since I screwed it up there, what I'm going to do is with a, I like to grab, so since, you know, this brush that I got from Morphe wasn't working out for me, I, I use this to clean it out because I feel like if I use one like this, it's just not, I don't know, I, don't, I feel like it just doesn't get in there. So what I'm going to do is grab some concealer. Put it on the back of my hand, just a slight little bit. You don't need a lot. So just like, I don't even know if you guys can see it, just like that. And what I'm going to do is with the brush, I'm just going to go and clean it out. And then clean clean up the the product off the back of your hand because if you keep going at it, then the black is just gonna smudge and smudge. So you want to make sure you clean it up after you do that. So after you finished, I'm gonna curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and put some falsies on. Oh, you could just leave it like that just the mascara on or you can put some falsies on I'm gonna put some falsies on because I am extra like that so I'm gonna use Mandy lashes in the style bombshell I can't like I have no words for these lashes right now they're the bomb but anyways I do have a discount code which I will leave right here so you guys can use it and save some dollar dollar bills and I will be right back Alright guys, so I am back. Do you guys see my lashes? They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.